got some backstage scoops tonight, yo. Well, it's the new show. Crank it up, turn on them lights, yo. Oh, cheers, Andrew. Cheers, mate. See you now. Thanks. We have reports that Vince McMahon was furious at Seth Rollins for mentioning CM Punk on last night's Raw. Matt Hardy is given an update following his return last night. And an update on a currently injured SmackDown star. We'll get to that in a bit. So last night's Raw kicked off with the heel turn and a hell of a promo from Seth Rollins. But before he got to the meat and two veg of that promo, I'm pretty sure that's the same. That is the same. He was being inundated with CM Punk chants. CM Punk, CM Punk, CM Punk. So before he got going, he acknowledged those chants, saying, I tried to get CM Punk here. I'm sorry, but he didn't want to show up. He wants to sit behind a desk in Los Angeles and talk about a change he's too afraid to make himself. Mm. Burn it down. Uh, according to a report from Wrestling Observer Radio, Vince McMahon was not a happy bunny uh, regarding these comments. Uh, and Rollins just acknowledging CM Punk. So uh, yeah. on the Wrestling Observer radio show this morning, Meltzer stated, unless Seth and Vince worked out and Vince was working everyone backstage by being furious when this is going on, Vince was really upset about Seth responding to the CM Punk chance because Vince's rule is that you don't, on television in particular, you do not push the idea that a match of a match that you are not going to deliver, which yeah. makes sense. That makes perfect it's, sense. Yeah, because you're just you're teasing it, teasing it, teasing it, and it's just setting the fans up for a fall because they're you know you sort of it's not even like you're directly teasing it. It's just that you're not shutting it completely down. Yeah, I mean, uh, does this apply to social media too? Because Seth has done a couple of bits. Obviously, he did the original "Fight Me" CM Punk thing. That's just because he's a heel. He is. He's definitely a heel. Well, he's just being himself, isn't yeah. he? <laughs> he's so so unlikable anyway. Yes. So yeah, I mean, I guess this. There are a few points here. First of all, it appears that we're not going to get Seth Rollins versus CM Punk. If Vince is going bozo backstage, yeah, you've got to believe that that isn't in in the works. Yeah, I mean, it's but CM Punk's an employee of Fox. He's yeah, not employee of absolutely. WWE. But we can we can hope. Triple We've been H hoping was for a saying long time. he hasn't even spoke to him. Really? Yeah, I, I didn't hear that. Wow. Yeah, he hasn't even spoke to him since the backstage stuff. And since gotcha, he, that speaks yeah. volumes, doesn't like, it? I feel a bit Vince bad. Vince might be just a bit annoyed that he's he's even back involved in any capacity. Uh, mate, I, I think they could probably say to Fox, we don't want this guy associated with our product, right? Yeah, but if Fox it's, are bringing the big money. Look at the ratings as well. Yeah. They've absolutely spiked. I feel a bit sorry for Seth here because Seth was sort of just doing his job. Imagine if they had been CM Punking all over his promo. A very impactful promo, something which is really important in the career of Seth Rollins. Like, we'll look back at that promo. Yeah. So that's that's when they maybe got the character right. We'll see, but I, I'm very optimistic about that. Yeah, I don't know. I feel a bit bad for him because if, if they had just been chanting over the top of it, you would have lost some of that impact of the product. Yeah, I mean, if, if they were chatting Jeff Jarrett, it would still, you know, <laughs> right? same effect if he shot him down like that. That's the match that we want to That's see, That's the isn't match it? I really want to see. Jarrett Rollins, yep. WrestleMania. Jarrett's going over, surely. Speaking of CM Punk, PW Insider are reporting that over Survivor Series weekend, there's been a lot of talk about Punk going on Austin's new show on the network, which I would love. Obviously, I just don't know if you get near the network. Is back is the is the backstage going on the network? Backstage, I'm not sure. I don't think it no, does at the moment. I think if it's Fox product, it might. I don't. Maybe know. it comes on in a month or something. I'm not if, sure. I don't believe it's on. Super angry about the that, chance. I don't think he's going to want him anywhere near Austin. That feels on like one step closer again because that's yeah. a WWE produced show now, isn't well, it? And this thing as well, I think you've got to think of it from their standpoint. If he is adamant that he's never coming back, like I don't as think long he is as anymore. he's, but as long as he's like sort of of an age where he could realistically do it, then any step closer is going to make people go, he's coming back. Yeah, which must and be really frustrating. They've got, to, they've got to sort of keep that arm's length, I guess, if they know he's not. I mean, it must be back. it must be tough for, for Vince and the, all the production yeah. people now that these CM Punk chants are becoming more and more regular. It felt like they were they just got them away. Yeah, well, they, they, they just, still pops was, up from time to time, yeah. but now it seems like we're, we're hearing them more and more often. If fans yeah. are unhappy with a particular segment, the go-to is once again CM Punk chants right yeah. now. So. If there's no plans for a match, do they want him getting one step closer to that? Is there that much value in that? Don't get me wrong, like Punk on yeah. Austin would be absolutely fantastic. Without a doubt, we get some 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 great scoops there. The, yeah. the Undertaker one was terrific as well. Undertaker revealing loads of stuff. Go and watch that on the network for sure. Uh, I don't know if that'll happen. I have my doubts. I, uh, I sort of doubt that more than anything. I think if it was an, an independent outside podcast that wasn't affiliated with the network, we'd maybe see it. But I don't know. I think they're not going to want... Uh, 
bring him that step closer if the reality is it's never going to happen. It seems that way, and I think At if least he were to do, he's like in his late forties. Yeah, like, I, if he were to do point, an external podcast as well, yeah. I don't think the money, many, not many podcasts are going to have the money to get CM Punk on that show. Yeah. I can imagine he demands a pretty hefty fee. WWE yeah. certainly have that money. It's just whether or not they would want to do it. Look at yeah. that, David. Next up, we have some news regarding Worlds Collide. You may remember last year, or this year's, I guess, which was, I think it was really, really fun. Yeah. I watched a few matches from it. Anyway, Luke Harper's I watched for sure. Uh, so, one day before the 2020 Royal Rumble in Houston, NXT and NXT UK will square off. So it's going to be those two brands going all at it. There have been a few names announced for this already. So, NXT champion Adam Cole. Okay. The UK champion Volta. Okay. Volta. I never know what to say. Volta. I've just I've just done a list and I felt like such a knob Volta? 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 Volta. Well, you're going to annoy off like so many people, aren't you? Yeah, either yeah. way, I can't win. NXT Women's Champion Shayna Bay. Isla, NXT UK Women's Champion, Kaylee Ray, The Undisputed Era and Imperium all advertised at this point. So this is replacing what would have been NXT TakeOver as part of the Big Four pay-per-view weekend. Which means I imagine we're getting some uh, NXT crossover into the Rumble as well. Oh, I'd hope so. I love it when an NXT guy yeah. pops up. Really, Maybe really they're like more on even footing. Do you, who, if, if somebody if was going to come in... brands right now. Yeah, well, see, after Survivor Series, Big Four sure. should be a mixture of all I agree. Three. I completely agree. I'd, I'd be interested to see how long they go with it. Like they've given NXT the big push after Survivor Series. Will that last? If you're going to pick an NXT UK guy to enter the Rumble, who are you going to choose? And you can't choose Volta. Ah, uh, Pete Dunne. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. he's NXT proper now, isn't he? Uh, he Full was, fat. He was lent there by Johnny Saints. Is that how it works? You, that you've cheaped out there. <laughs> go on, pick one of the undercards. Ashton Smith or something. Joseph Connors. Yeah, Connors. Yeah. Hashtag, what's his thing? Push Joseph Connors. It's like that. JC is takeover worthy. Yeah. And I agree, bloody, I think they're building that. I, I think Connors is going to be I there. think this is how they build up to a two-night WrestleMania as well, you know? Yeah. Eventually you have TakeOver Mania, not TakeOver City name. Ooh. So it'll be night before and that. I really like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. It's full of ideas, this one. Next up, we have an injury update on Xavier Woods, who we haven't seen on our screens in a little while. He's suffering with an Achilles tear at the moment. He's spoken to Chuck Carroll for CBS Local Sports. And... It's not good news, it's not bad news, but it is an update. He says that there is no timetable for his return. It could be five months, it could be nine months. There's a lot of wiggle room, apparently. Uh, his words, not mine. But those two figures, it's a long way away still, isn't it? Yeah, I just, you know, as long as he gets well and gets well right and he's, you know, yeah. he's completely fit to get back in the ring, that's the important thing. It doesn't I, matter how long it takes, you know? I think it would be a real shame for him not to be there for Mania. That five month thing fills me with hope a little bit. If it's five months, he could just about be back in time maybe so long he doesn't even have to get involved with the spot so long as he can be just st sort of standing there and and you know present yeah then that would be good but... they'll want kofi and biggie on wrestlemania yeah, for sure yeah. and maybe he'll be well enough then but i'll imagine the pop if they come out first and then xavier comes even if he can't wrestle even and then he attacks ring, them with his crutch yes, yes. what no <laughs> why do you keep doing this no they are like dedicating wait, their wait. whole tag run to him they've got armbands they're gonna forget about him they're gonna stop wearing the armbands they're gonna think that they're the billy big bollocks and then he's gonna come back and he's gonna get all aggressive with them you you're, you're over over Big E, you want the Xavier Woods, lovable little <laughs> Xavier Woods, over big monster Big E. I just want e. them you to want break the up so that when they finally get back together, it means so much more. No, they should be together forever, not even to do with the merch. They're just the best friends, aren't they? Not those ones, but they're best friends. <laughs> Stop it, you sadist. And finally, we have an update on Matt Hardy, who made his return last night on Raw, losing. <laughs> no, it's, I can't fault it too much. He had a match with Buddy Murphy. He came back. He's proper, like, 98, 99 Hardy boys. Yeah. Comes out with the tight vest on and everything, right. the original music. There's, there's no more broken. There was a bit of broken, actually, but he's not broken that hard. Yeah, a little bit of it. Um, but, yeah, he made his return last night. Uh, he has tweeted following his appearance on Raw last night. Thanks for all the love from around the world regarding my hashtag Raw appearance tonight. I am grateful. And then he says, I'm going through a tough, confusing period of life right now, and I appreciate your support. This follows months and months of Matt sort of desperate. He seems desperate to be used again, essentially. Yeah. He's sort of been teasing various iterations well, of Matt Hardy. Bring back this, bring back this, bring back this. It all started super, super ages ago, didn't it? Like last year with him, sort of, he was just leaving a house show. And he was like, this is it. See you later. This yeah, I remember that. Back and it was like yeah. a nice little video of him just sort of going around the staff and saying bye he's got a few years in him yeah i i think if we're gonna see i don't think we're gonna see another jeff hardy like big title run yeah i think we might see the hardy boys reunite one more time and then maybe that'll be it which will be hall sad. of fame immediate hall of fame and oh yeah for yeah. sure 
Next time it's in, what is it, North Carolina? South Carolina? North Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah, I don't see them holding this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, North Carolinians. Uh, also, just an interesting note on this. Um, there's no word on what WWE are planning for Matt Hardy. However, Matt Hardy is still currently listed as SmackDown on WWE.com. Sometimes they're quicker than others in changing those up. Yeah. But... I would suggest that if he's still listed as SmackDown, that maybe we won't see him that much. And that I'm going through a tough, confusing period of life right now. I appreciate your support. It seems like maybe they don't have anything for him moving forward. Maybe they just brought in somebody who the fans love to put Buddy Murphy over, which is fine. I really hope that that last bit's part of like the gimmick. Maybe he's because he's changing up the gimmick so much constantly. Yep. Maybe he's like going through phases trying to get something to stick. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe he goes through every iteration of yeah. Matt Hard. Oh, and that's maybe good. Maybe he's a bit cracked. And then he can't, he can't win under any iteration, and he becomes like broken two. How does it? How does it? Well, he needs a new one, I guess. B two. B two. There you go. And then he comes out, and it's just Bull Buchanan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's got all the ideas. I said it earlier. I'll say it again. Hire this man. But don't we need him? See ya. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. You can follow us on Twitter at Cultaholic. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Cultaholic. If you enjoy what we do here at Cultaholic, you can pledge to us on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Cultaholic. And most importantly, don't forget to hit subscribe and join us.